Well, the Bay Area has a new attraction, and it comes in the form of a salon catering to men and women. Today is the grand opening, and News Channel 8's Anthony Allred got an inside look. There are a lot of nail salons across the Bay Area, but nothing like Bay Nail Spa here in Largo. And let me show you what sets them apart from everyone else. There's a chandelier when you walk in. It's beautiful. <laughs> from the gigantic ceiling fans, all the way down to the 12 massage chairs on the floor, this ain't your mama's nail salon. You guys are catering. I see you got a lot of things in here for the men. Oh, I got TVs for the guys. We, we got wine. Uh, we got massage chairs. We got the ladies. I don't know what else you needed from me. It's more homey here than other nail salons. You know how nail salons is like it smells like nail salons. Like the products here, it smells perfectly fine. It smells like home. If that makes any sense. Julia Shapiro tells me she's not a morning person, but she couldn't resist checking out the new nail spa in her own backyard. I'm not really a morning person but it's worth it. It was really worth it. Waking up this early, getting my nails done, um, came in, greeted me right away, love it. Soothing here, I like the color actually too. And speaking of the color, owners Sonny and Tina Duong wanted to create a spa that makes big guys like me and Jeff Burnett feel at home. I say just do it, because once you do it once, you'll uh, want to keep coming back. Just start off with like the, the classic uh, manicure, pedicure combo. And uh, you get a massage, get your uh, nails trimmed, they look nice, it's, it's good. Now, if you missed a grand opening, you're in luck because for the next two weeks, they're giving 25% off to anyone who walks through the doors. In Largo, Anthony Allred, News Channel 8. What are you looking at his hands next time? <laughs> Is that a yeah, French manicure, looking. Anthony? <laughs> <laughs> so, Never yeah, know. Cool place. <laughs> All right, weather-wise, how are we shaping up? Because we've got our own issues going on south of Tampa. It's wild.